To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be faithful I want to be faithful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be I want to be I want to be I like to think about of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just want to lift my heart in Little Agnieszka grew up in beautiful countryside in southern Poland. A big green forest stood on one side of her house. A green meadow with pretty white daisies and pink and purple wildflowers stretched out on the other side of the house. Agnieszka loved nature, but she was easily frightened. She didn't like the dark. Strangers were scary. Her family had cats, dogs, and chickens, but she was scared of them. She was especially terrified of mooing cows and gobbly gobbling turkeys. Fortunately, no cows or turkeys lived at her house. But a flock of turkeys did live in the yard of a farmhouse that she passed on the way to school. Agnieszka loved school and she loved walking to school. One morning, she skipped along the road to the village and turned the corner to school. A few steps later, she saw something that filled her with horror. She stopped in her tracks. Dozens of gobbly gobbling turkeys were wandering on the road. The birds were enormous and they made a loud, scary racket. <laughs> Agnieszka looked to one side of the road, a rushing stream. She couldn't walk through it. She looked to the other side. More gobbly gobbling turkeys were walking in a ditch and strolling in the adjacent meadow. She couldn't walk there. She looked beyond the meadow. 
The gate to the farmhouse fence was open and the yard was empty. The turkeys had escaped from there. Agnieszka was trapped. She couldn't go to school because of the gobbly gobbling turkeys. She couldn't go home because then she would be late for school. She sat down on the road to hide from the turkeys. God, help me, she prayed. Opening her eyes, she saw an elderly man riding a bicycle toward her. The man wore dark gray clothes and a dark gray cap. His bicycle was dark gray. He was coming from the direction of the school. Fearlessly entering the flock of gobbly gobbling turkeys, he energetically waved his arms and shouted, Shoo! Shoo! The turkeys gobbled even more and made a frantic dash toward their yard. Feathers flew and the screech of the gobbly gobbling turkeys was deafening. <laughs> Agnieszka was surprised that the stranger wasn't scared of the turkeys. She had never seen him before, but she wasn't afraid. He looked sort of familiar. As the old man rode past her, he said kindly, It's all right now. Agnieszka's mouth dropped open in amazement. She looked at the turkeys gobbly gobbling back in their yard. She looked back at the road to wave at the old man. He had disappeared. Agnieszka happily ran to school. She wasn't even late. The turkeys never invaded the road again. Agnieszka has always remembered God's answer to her frightened prayer. Now the mother of two children, she tells them how the stranger scared away the turkeys. I don't know whether he was an ordinary man or an angel, she says, but I know the victory came from God. I was able to survive the turkeys with God's help. thankful for my mom, dad, um, Jeannie, um, my books, Jesus, God, and more things. I am thankful for everything. My mom, my dad, my brother, myself, Jesus, God, church, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm. Thankful for mommy, and yeah. then you're thankful for who else? Uh, grandma and grandpa. Grandma, grandpa. Can and you, uh, can you draw that? And uh, I, I, um, daddy. Daddy. Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. daddy brown little hair. Girl. Brown. Where's brown little hair? Brown. Everybody gets a heart Everybody gets a soul Everybody gets a mind To let them know That we can be smart And we can be kind And we can be living by giving and loving all the time So on the days when it's feeling tough and it seems like you don't have enough Well, let's be thankful, thankful for our friends and family And grateful for the air that we breathe And appreciate everything that we have today Let's be generous to anyone who has less than us It's good to be compassionate it's Ever since the day you were born Yeah, we've got a lot to be thankful for yeah, we've got a lot to be thankful for Everybody gets the land And everybody gets a seed So everybody lend a hand To those in need Cause we can be nice We can be nice We can all share And we can keep growing together It's better when everyone cares so on the days when it's feeling tough 
And it seems like you don't have enough Well, let's be thankful For our friends and family and grateful For the air that we breathe and appreciate Everything that we have today Let's be generous to anyone who has less than us It's good to be compassionate Cause ever since the day you were born Yeah, you got a lot to be thankful for Yeah, we've got a lot to be thankful for So, what are you thankful for? Let's be thankful for our friends and family and grateful for all the air that we breathe and appreciate everything that we have today. Let's be generous to anyone who has less than us. It's good to be compassionate cause ever since the day you were born. Yeah, you got a lot to be thankful for. Thankful. Yeah, you got a lot to be thankful for. This is On You. His mommy just asked him to bring a diaper from his room. He is learning to be a helper around the house. Will he be able to be a good helper? In the past, he would go in his room but play with his other toys instead of bringing out his diaper. Let's see if he will bring one out. Wow! He brought not just one but three of them. He gives one to mommy. And now, mommy asks him to put the other two back in the room. Let's see if he listens this time too. He did! Wow, mommy is so proud of him and thankful for his help. This time, he is helping with throwing away the trash in the trash can. He's becoming more helpful every day, and his help makes him and his mommy very happy. Jesus wants us to obey our parents and be good helpers. Jesus also obeyed his parents and his heavenly father very well, and he was always a good helper. Hi everyone, it's Aunt Frenita. Today's story is called The Parable of the Great Beast. The memory verse is from Luke chapter 14, verse 15. It says, Blessed is the one who will eat at the feast in the kingdom of God. Today's message is Jesus invites us to be with him in heaven. Jesus told a story once about someone who had prepared a great feast. When the feast was ready, he sent to call the guest. Find out what happened and what it could mean for us. Once, Jesus and his disciples were having a meal at someone's house, and Jesus told this story. A man gave a big banquet and invited many people, Jesus began. When it was time to eat, the man sent his servant to tell the guests, Come, 
everything is ready. But all the guests said that they could not come. Each man made an excuse. The first one said, I have just bought a land, and I must go look at it. Please excuse me. Another man said, I have just bought five pairs of oxen. I must go try them. Please excuse me. A third man said, I just got married. I can't come. So the servant returned. He told his master what had happened. Then the master became angry and said, Go at once into the streets and the alleys of the town. Bring in the poor, the cripple, the blind, and the lame. Later the servant said to him, Master, I did what you told me to do, but we still have places for more people. The master said to the servant, Go out into the roads and country lanes. Tell the people there to come. I want my house to be full. None of those men that I invited first will ever eat with me. Jesus was talking about himself in this parable. He is like the man who planned the party and invited many people. Jesus has invited everyone to accept his salvation, which leads to eternal life. And he's giving you an invitation. Many people in the story had excuses for not coming to the party. They let other things become more important than being with their friend. They weren't really true friends at all. Because they were too busy with things, they turned down the invitation and missed the great feast. In this parable, the invitation to the banquet is Jesus' invitation for us to accept his salvation. Accepting salvation means that we ask Jesus to forgive our sins and choose to do the things he wants us to do. We have a choice. We can decide to accept his invitation or to let other things become more important in our lives. How about you? Right now, will you say yes to the invitation Jesus has given you? Do you want to be with him in heaven and experience the joy of being in his presence forever? Created and produced by Falvo Fowler. This podcast is read by Franita Buddy Fullwood for Gracelink.net. Animation and artwork by Giogo Godoy. Audio is post-produced by Faith Toe at Studio El Piso in Singapore. The theme music is by Clayton Kinney. The audio engineer was Maurice Bailey. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be faithful I want to be faithful I want to remember everything To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to